so it seems that you knew here um that's fine that's completely fine i'm not even mad at you because in the very beginning i used to get this fucking question all the time and it's not a problem i am here to answer and what i will say all in all because i do keep get carried away just pay attention to the fucking red flags that's the important shit okay so basically you know what i'm saying we was chilling we was already hunching we hadn't did it like five six seven times so we had to be on like our six or seven times and we always use condoms we always strapped it up you know what i'm saying um this one particular time you know what i'm saying he got off of me and he just went like crazy and i was fucking scared shitless i was fucking scared not because i thought i had hiv or anything like an std i was just scared like because why are you acting like this why are you reacting like this like when he got up and he noticed that the condom came off everything changed the demeanor the actions the emotions like he went through the whole roller coaster of everything he was like oh whoa i was like whoa whoa <laughs> what the fuck is going on i mean it was far more intense than what i'm making it like right now because i have told this story literally a lot of times you know what i'm saying but i'm not mad at you for asking like i said but um yeah it's just like tiring like the way he got up it was you knew you you would know like if you have something up here even if it's this big you would have known something was up you know what i'm saying so i was like fuck um i'm telling him i'm like i can't get pregnant you know what i'm saying like yeah because i was making a video if you don't mind <laughs> so i was like i can't get pregnant and if i can let's just go get a plan b type shit if that's what you're panicking about but no it was some completely different shit this motherfucker knew he was in the process of getting the virus out of his body you understand what i'm saying like he knew he, the health department already had contact to him. You have seen a doctor, you have medicine, okay? And they advise you until you go back and take, you know what I'm saying, your second blood test to make sure the virus is out of your body, not to be sexually active. Do we listen? No, because I was hunching on my baby daddy. Did he know? Yes. Yes, he fucking knew. Yeah. So I really got HIV for nothing because me and my baby daddy had broke up for seven months. This is what I was talking about when I said get off track. Fuck, oh, it's ADHD. It's better. Anyways, um, we had broken up for seven months. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, he is literally like with this other bitch. She had a baby by me by, and they was born on the same day, four minutes apart. He is really living his best life with her. And I wasn't like, that shit wasn't processing in my brain. So I was like, let me just move on. Did I move on like intentionally? Like, I'm gonna go find me a man? No, that wasn't the play. I was at the fucking wash house washing my motherfucking clothes and I just happened to meet this guy. You know what I'm saying? He was a mutual friend from somebody else I had knew. You know what I'm saying? That was in my life. So when I seen him, you know what I'm saying? He was looking down and I was down. I was like, it's crazy. We both going through breakups all the time. Your breakup is because your bitch gave you HIV and you're trying to move on past her. Now, I can say that my whole situation was an accident. A lot of people be like, blue, 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 you know what I'm saying? Trying to, but at the end of the day, we all want to feel normal. No, I'm not justifying what the fuck going on, bitch, because if I could take it back, I would. Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I live my life putting myself in other people's shoes. You know what I'm saying? And he was scared. He was nervous. You know what I'm saying? And that, for me, was, in a sense, him being bullied. You're scared of the stigma. I'm not mad at you. I'm, I'm... I'm disappointed in you, you know what I'm saying? Because, bitch, if my baby would have got that shit because I was breastfeeding her, I ain't going to lie. Bitch, we was going down together. I'm not even going to lie to you. Do you know how hard I pray to God? I say, God, please, please, I can deal with this. I've lived my life. I was turning 28. I found out three days before my birthday. God, I can handle this. But please don't do my baby like that. Please give her a fighting chance. Y'all, this is my non-HIV baby she doesn't have it you know what i'm saying by the grace of god and i said i told god that i wouldn't i'm a scorpio bitch i don't forgive and i don't forget but i didn't have a choice when it came to that i'm not saying i bargained with god but god you know me you created me you know what kind of bitch i'm is like you know how i get down out here type shit if you just spare my baby life i i will i will i promise you i won't fuck this man just let my baby live in peace. I can do this. You know what I'm saying? And I've been doing it. Mm-hmm. I've been doing it, baby. Yup. I was diagnosed in 2019, literally three days before my birthday, in the middle of the fucking day, after I had just got my first child out of school. 
So, I don't want to make this video super long. It's like going on five minutes. I've been chit 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 chatting. <laughs> um, yeah, but I mean, you know, if y'all want to know more, because I know it's a lot of newbies in here, y'all just let me know what's up. Because, bitch, I can talk, talk, talk. <laughs> long as it's on the video app or social media, I can chit chat. In person, it's going to get awkward. I'm socially awkward. Yeah. So, whatever. Yeah.